This episode of Fine Scale Modeler's new product rundown features Tacom's SMK, ICM's Game of Thrones figure, some nice pre-finished diorama bases, and Rodin's M43. New product rundown brought to you by Hobby Zone USA, your source for hobby storage solutions, hard to find hobby tools, and aftermarket modeling needs. Welcome to New Product Rundown, Fine Scale Modeler's twice monthly show about everything that's shiny and new in the world of scale modeling. I'm Aaron Skinner. I'm Elizabeth Nash. We've got some cool stuff to look at, starting with Tacom's 135th scale SMK. This was a Soviet heavy tank design that it was hoped would replace the heavy and unreliable T-35. Only one was built and it saw brief service during the Battle of Suma in the Winter War with Finland. That SMK was disabled by a mine and abandoned on the field for two months. The KV series of tanks was destined for production instead. As you might expect from a two-turreted tank, the SMK is large. The upper hull, which includes the sides, is nearly a foot long. Surface detail comprises rivets, hatches, and louvers, as well as suspension attachments. The rest of the hull builds from a large belly plate, lower and upper rear plates, as well as the nose, glasses plate, and the driver's compartment plate. There's a lot of running gear here too, including road wheel arms keyed for alignment, early KV-style road wheels with lightning holes, drive sprockets and idlers, and return rollers. Individual link tracks finish the underside. The fenders have detailed molded top and bottom, as well as thin edges and brackets. The two turrets round out the kit. The 45 millimeter arm forward builds from sides, roof, base, and mantlet. The larger 76 millimeter arm turret has sides, roof, with separate hatch, multi-part, base, mantlet, and machine gun in the rear of the turret and on the roof. The slide molded main guns have hollow muzzles. A clear sprue provides a headlight lens and vision blocks for the periscopes. And there's a photo etched screen for the engine deck intake and braided copper wire for the tow cable. A small decal sheet and color diagrams provide four marking options. Two for the prototype in summer 1939 and during the winter war and two what if vehicles in multicolor camouflage. Despite its size, this is a relatively simple kit that should build quickly. If you're a fan of Soviet armor, you'll want one of these in your collection. Speaking of Winter Wars, here's something to keep all you Game of Thrones fans out there, and in here, happy and occupied while we wait for the show's final season, ICM's 116th scale, King of the Night. He's the chief of the White Walkers and leader of the Army of the Dead. Molded in gray plastic on a single sprue, the figure comprises just 17 parts. But the parts are well molded with good detail in his face, head, and hands. Each of his legs is mostly solid, with the upper halves being covered by a two-part skirt, topped by the torso with separate shoulder armor. His ice blade is molded in clear plastic that should look terrific with a wash of clear blue. A three-part stand is provided. And there's a print of the box art if you want something to decorate your workspace or TV room. Obviously the finish will be everything when it comes to ICM's Night King, but the journey could be really fun. Next up are some nice pre-finished display bases from All Diorama to help set the scene of some of your projects. Mark Savage and I met the father and son team behind this small company at the 2017 IPMS USA Nats in Omaha. They are passionate hobbyists with a dream to help others display their creations. They were kind enough to send FSM three complete bases, so let's take a closer look. Starting with this 135th scale European street that features stone paving, a section of sidewalk, and a fountain. Cast in resin, the scene has variation in the bricks, pavers, and curbstones, as well as a storm drain cover. The finish looks good as is, but there's plenty of opportunity to add to it. A stone fountain complete with clear water occupies one corner, setting the scene in a city square. The resin is fixed to a wooden frame with black finished sides. That feature is common to all of the bases. Measuring about 7.5 inches wide and almost 11.5 inches long, it can accommodate average size vehicles with plenty of room for figures or other items. Also in 135th scale is the snow-covered road section, which includes textured groundwork and a section of the ruins. The hand-applied snow differs from base to base and is realistically shown in thinner deposits and heavier drifts. At 9.5 inches wide and almost 12 inches long, it can accommodate larger tanks and vehicles easily. Aldarama has bases for aircraft too, including this 148th scale section of a Japanese carrier deck centered on an elevator. The surface has engraved wood decking, as well as the outline of the elevator with painted lines. This is the largest of the three bases we've seen, at nearly 12 inches wide and more than 15 inches long. So a zero looks a bit small on it, but two would fill it, or you could display a bigger plane like a Kate comfortably. In addition to bases, All Diorama also makes pre-finished building sections, palm trees, and dinosaurs, in addition to unfinished resin busts of pre-Columbian warriors. Obviously these aren't for everyone, but if you're looking for a quick way to display your vehicles and aircraft and groundwork isn't your thing, these just might be the ticket. 
Finally, here's Rodin's 135th scale M43 ambulance. The M43 was built on the M37 three quarter ton truck used by the U.S. military in the 1950s, 60s, and early 70s. The ambulance version replaced the WC-54 and served in Korea and Vietnam. Like its full-size counterpart, Rodin's M43 is based on the company's previously released M37 truck kit, so some of the parts will look familiar, including the wheels and suspension, the cargo bed cover bows aren't used here, vinyl tires with nice tread and sidewalls with legible lettering, and some of the cab parts like the windshield frame, dashboard, doors, hood, fenders, and the prominent front grille. The floor, roof, and back wall will end up in your spares box. Much of the drivetrain carries over as well, including the engine, transmission and transfer case, axles, springs, fuel tank, running boards, and drive shafts. Roden retooled the frame to be slightly longer for the larger M43. And accommodates the ambulance box, which comprises flat sides, and a long curved roof that covers the cab and box, and posable rear doors. A bulkhead with a separate door that features a window and circular vent divides the cab from the rear compartment. Detail in the transport area includes the floor, what appears to be storage compartments with support frames, seat cushion shelves that, as posed in the kit, support two of the four stretchers provided. There's even detail for the ceiling, including air vents along the corners, and a clear light. Clear pieces also supply the windshield, the windows for the cab and transport compartment doors, as well as head and spotlight lenses. Decals give markings for two American ambulances in Vietnam, an Army vehicle in overall olive drab, and Air Force truck in overall blue-gray. It's great to see the M37 family in plastic, and this ambulance offers a lot of display opportunities. Look for a full build review of it, the SMK, and Night King in future issues of Fine Scout Modeler Magazine. And you can find more new products in the November issue, right there, on sale now. <laughs> Thanks for visiting FineScale.com. I'm very good at integral and differential calculus. And I know the scientific names of beings and amalculus. And there's a print of the box art if you want something to decorate your workspace or TV room. We are not decorating our living room with these posters, no. <laughs> <laughs> that was the no. point of the joke. No. <laughs> Not, this Jeez. suggestion will not come from me. <laughs> TV room. <laughs> TV room is all right. <laughs>